Good day and welcome to the news. You will be shocked what's going on in APC headquarters as Adamu exposed over election fraud. Now, the news in details as the deadline for the submission of candidates to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, is passed today. Trouble almost engulfed the National Secretariat of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, yesterday over the alleged substitution of candidates. A gift candidate from Kogi, Enugu, Abia, and Imo states besieged the party secretariat to register their anger with the Senator Abdullahi Adamu led National Working Committee, NWC, over the development. Heavily armed security personnel had to obviously ferry Adamu away from the party secretariat to avoid an unsavory experience in the hands of aggrieved candidates and their supporters. Scores of supporters of some of the candidates who attempted to force their way into the premises of the party secretariat chanted war songs to register their displeasure over the development. A.G.K. Okoli, speaking on behalf of four House of Representatives aspirants who won primaries in Enugu State, alleged that they were denied the opportunity to fill the INEC forms that would have made them eligible to contest the 2023 poll. He alleged we were invited through an SMS to come to Abuja to collect and fill INEC forms only to be given the withdrawal forms, which we rejected and they have since refused to give us the INEC forms. He further alleged that the party leadership had perfected plans to substitute their names with their favoured aspirants for inexplicable reasons. One of the aggrieved supporters of an aspirant from Kogi State alleged that the ticket of their principal, who won a House of Representatives race, had been offered to another person. We don't expect this in the party at this critical time. We thought we would never hear of this kind of illegality, but it's happening at the party. How can somebody, how can somebody emerge winner at the primary only to be denied the tickets of the party? House of Representatives Deputy Whip, Inkuruka, Inyoji Acha, and the House Spokesperson, Mr. Benjamin Kalu, were amongst a handful of National Assembly members cited at the party secretariat apparently in relation to their eligibility to seek re-election on the party tickets. While the youths were threatening that Adamu would not get out of the secretariat, the security operatives rushed and locked the gates. Following the development, security operatives pushed journalists out of the secretariat. However, journalists were later asked to identify themselves for security reasons before they were allowed to settle down. The senator representing Kogi West Senatorial District, Smart Adeyemi, has rejected the outcome of the recently conducted APC National Assembly primary in its constituency. In the election which was held in Kaba, headquarters of the sen sen senatorial district, Adeyemi lost to a member of the House of Representatives, Sunday Karimi, who was announced as the candidate. Adeyemi, who addressed journalists in Abuja yesterday, however, said he had petitioned the national chairman of APC, Adamu, to draw the attention of the party's leadership to the alleged anomaly that happened during the poll. The senator said his ordeal started when he refused to comply with the advice of the governor of the state, Yaya Bello, that he should withdraw from the race. He explained that Bello promised to make him the chief of staff when he wins the presidential election. He said the governor also asked him to hold a meeting with the chairman of the APC in the state, Abdullahi Bello, but that the party ended in deadlock. The party chairman suggested that I do not contest the election, but rather join hands with them for the realization of Project Governor Yaya Bello to President Yaya Bello. It is to, knowledge, it is to the knowledge of my constituents the Nigerians at large that I have remained committed to this project and have not for once minded words about it. However, the condition for my stepping aside was to take on a position which was technocratic in nature where my governor eventually emerges as president and this did not align with my personal goals and aspirations as a journalist and a crusader for the common man. The meeting ended 
inconclusively and thereafter events metamorphosed into threats that I must contest in the primary election. Meanwhile, the senator had offered to sponsor five persons to Mecca, Saudi Arabia, on Hajj pilgrimage for returning the cash he gave out to delegates during the party's primary in the senatorial zone. Adeyemi's return beat to the Senate was short-lived when he scored 43 votes in the primary election, putting him at a distant third. Sunday Karimi, who clinched the party's ticket, scored 288 votes, while Muiwa Aino came second with 73 votes. He said five among the delegates from Koton Cafe local government area returned the money he gave out for transport, accommodation and feeding expenses after they voted against him. The lawmaker said he was moved by their honesty and asked them to go with the money with a promise to sponsor them to Mecca on Arch pilgrimage in 2023. He said normally we give some support to delegates to augment their expenses, transport, feeding and accommodation, but don't ask me how much. Delegates from a particular local government, which is predominantly inhabited by Muslims, were not allowed to vote for me because the returning officer, who is from that local government and equally a Muslim, asked them to support Sunday Karimi, who is from a neighboring federal constituency to mine. This local government is called Cotton Cave. A week after the election, five of them came to Abuja and they are all Muslim. They said to me that in Islam it is Aram to take what does not belong to you. So, Senator, the money you gave for feeding, accommodation, and transport to support us will have returned all your money because we were not allowed to vote for you. But you are our candidate. They burst into tears that they had been denied, but said, please take our photographs for record purposes and future. This is your money. I looked at them and said, you have endeared Islam to my heart, even though I'm a Christian. Did you return the money? Please go with the money. I have blessed this money for you. They started crying and I assured them that next year, the five of you, I will send you to Mecca. If your faith in Islam is like this, then you have made me respect Islam the more. So yeah, we can see that there have been there's a lot of problems in the All Progressive Congress camp. It is being said that the party's chairman, Abd Abdullahi Adamu, is actually substituting people's tickets for others. It is being said that some people who actually won the primaries of different positions are not able to actually get the tickets because Abdullahi Adamu has put other people's name in place of theirs. And this has caused a lot of problems as these people affected and their supporters came to the headquarters yesterday to cause commotion. And we can see people talking about how they were manipulated into not contesting. We have the like of Smart Adeyemi who spoke about how he was told he was going to be the chief of staff if Governor Yaya Bello won the presidential election but he did, and he accepted. But then when Governor Yaya Bello didn't win the presidential primary of APC, he asked to be able to represent and take part in the House State, state House of Assemblies election and he said it was threatened that he should not take part in it but he ended up taking part in it and were only was able to only amass about 43 votes and this comes at a time where he also later talked about how some delegates which he actually gave money to came to him to tell him that they were not allowed to vote for him but were told to actually vote for sunday carry me and they actually returned his money, but he gave it back to them. This just leaves a lot to the uh, to, to talk about. This means that a lot of people were not actually allowed to vote. Or if you actually won the elections in your um, state or your local government, you can may not necessarily get the presidential ticket. The, the, you may not necessarily get the election ticket as Abdullah Abdullahi Adamu has other people in mind to fill up these positions and we can we, we we are made known that when the problem started and when this commotion started security officials actually took adamu away and we not heard of any later development in the issue don't forget to keep keep up to date with us as we'll be bringing more updates on this later on thank you and goodbye